Alright, just going to do a video going through and debunking a very strange and also extra biblical teaching from the new IFB cult leader, Stephen Anderson. In this clip I'm going to show, he is essentially saying that Adam had a belly button. And it's a very weird extra biblical teaching on Adam's creation. When you consider the fact that Adam was not born from the womb, he was created from the dust of the ground. I'll be showing the scriptures on that. Okay. Let's go to the Word of God. You see, this extra biblical teaching, Anderson quotes no scripture whatsoever. But I'm going to go to the Word of God and show you why Anderson is wrong. Then show you the clip. So, like I said, Adam was born from the dust of the ground. What say the scriptures? Genesis 2 7. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis 3 19. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt, or sorry, shalt thou return. And also Genesis 3.23 repeats the same thing about your form from the dust of the ground. You know, okay, Adam was not born from the womb. He did not have an umbilical cord, which is what Anderson is going to say, because, well, he was formed from the dust of the ground. He was a direct creation of God. Luke chapter 3 uh, the, I believe it's verse 3, verse 38, says that Adam is a son of God, in a sense of he's a direct creation of God like the angels were. Or the angels are, I'll put it that way. So here's the clip of Anderson uh, propagating this very strange extra biblical teaching that just reeks of evolution and atheist type of philosophy. Check this out. Of whether Adam had a belly button, you know, people bring that up as like a silly question. I actually think that that's a crucial, important point that Adam for sure had a belly button because of the fact that God created a mature adult Adam that appeared as if he went through the normal life process up to that point. Now, he had an umbil uh, he had a, a belly button that's basically evidence for an umbilical cord that was never attached because he never actually had an umbilical cord attached there, but yet he has the belly button. So he looks like he went through the process. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, and this isn't the only example where Anderson is slipping in and implying evolutionary type of doctrine, Darwinian evolution. I've shown in other videos him essentially denying and trashing on young earth creationism and also trashing on people who believe in young earth creationism and also implying that the universe has a 14 billion year old backstory, which is just Darwinian, you know, evolution, big bang, atheist type of philosophy. So he seems a new IFB. I mean, the new IFB is already a compilation of false doctrines and heresies. But now they're just slipping into full-on atheism and just, you know, full-on stuff. Essentially, the stuff I got out of. You know, before God saved me, I was a lost, held on atheist. I was a secular atheist and became a religious atheist when I joined the new IFB. Then, of course, God saved me. And so, yeah, I'm a former atheist. And Anderson is propagating what the, the same kind of sci-fi false religion that, I, that God saved me out of. Plain and simple. So, this is, again, not the only example, but just, a, just another, you know, addition to the long compilation of heresies that is the new IFB led by Pope Stephen Anderson. So, don't be deceived by the new IFB cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.